our new uh, flexible track and bus processor. It's uh, a good starting point for new users and a very flexible, powerful tool for pro users. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview. Uh, I'm going large to nitty gritty here. Sure. Um, <clears throat> Alloy is kind of the uh, uh, mix sister to Ozone. If you guys oh, are familiar with great. Ozone, of course. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of users who were using Ozone as their channel processor and complaining about the latency and how resource intensive it is, and said, "Well, we can kind of tool it up for you guys." So this is more focused on uh, being a track processor, and we took a lot of the features from Ozone and kind of uh, optimized them for uh, quick mixing tasks. So if you look at our uh, preset editor here. Yeah. Um, Which you guys have a lot of presets. You'll see that we have 150 presets all geared towards a specific mixing task. For uh, some of the more tailored ones, we have we took the micro or the macro fader functionality of Ozone and uh, uh, changed it so we have uh, these macro faders which control a bunch of parameters all at once. Sure. So you right. can uh, you know change a lot of things just from these four faders. So you find a preset that looks good, and then you tweak it here, you tweak it here, and then maybe I want to change what the exciter is doing so I can go on a deeper level and change it there. So let me quickly take you through um, all of the processing that happens in Alloy. Sure. You can see kind of the differences and similarities with Ozone. So if you're familiar with Ozone, uh, you'll know what's happening there, and if you want something different, you'll see what's different. Sure. So. Uh, our EQ is very straightforward. Um, a lot of very simple functionality of just grabbing, dragging something around. I like how you were zooming in. Uh, uh, so, uh, like middle mouse wheel, you know, yeah. to adjust the Q That's and awesome. a lot of keyboard modifiers to do it quickly. So, shift or, you know, uh, control to uh, make it a little more fine adjustment. Another thing I love about our EQ is this alt solo feature. And let me uh, run something through here and see if I'm solo yet. So uh, I can hit alt click on all solo frequencies so I can really find out that, oh yeah, that's my egregious ringing in my cymbals, and then pull that down there. That's fantastic. That's a lot. I mean, that's how we EQ. That's yeah, huge. that's how I mean, usually in other times I would just do it with this huge like Q, but then I can hear you know out of the context of everything else, and then in the context of everything else. Well, that's, that's great for certain that's great cool subtractive EQing, man. Yeah. Yep. And that's yeah, exactly, exactly what it's for. So um, that's our equalizer, very straightforward. Um, our exciter is uh, different from Ozone's. Uh, kind of, it's more like the Aphex um, exciter oh, um, in that. Uh, you kind of choose what kind of uh, harmonics you're generating through the process. Um, it's an XY controller, so in the Aphex that's two knobs, it's a even to odd harmonics and less or more overtones. And you can see kind of, uh, we have a few presets at the extremes for, you know, like a, a tape or, or two, um, or transistor, a little width control. And what this is gonna do, um, let me find a good, like uh, my bass here. So I have my clean bass, but I can use the exciter to kind of drive it and change the character of that. Oh, and uh, it changes as you move it around. The yeah, so grid. you can see what harmonics are being generated. And so it's kind of like reamping it, sort of, and then I can pull back the drive or change its mix. So it becomes a more subtle effect, which is great for vocals, kind of adding yeah, that, that kind little of presence grid. back to it. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, that's that. Uh, we also have our uh, uh, transient shaper, um, which is uh, brand new. Let me uh, just grab my uh, snare here. So this is single band or multi band, um, and uh, it's very straightforward. So it's a uh, kind of changing the uh, envelope of percussive or, or any element. So it can be used for drums, guitar. So that's where I can um, kind of change. You know, the, take the snap away a little bit, or add it back. Kind of add some of that r rattle back to it, or really only emphasize the snap. And I can change the time scaling of that too. So 
So pretty straightforward. Maybe wow. if you're familiar with uh, SPLs, uh, yeah. Transient yeah, yeah. Shaper, sure. it's very much like that. Um, uh, we have uh, Dynamics. It's actually a two-stage Dynamics. Um, and again, another common feature of our plugins is this uh, signal processing graph. So I can, you know, EQ post compression or pre compression, which is awesome. Um, for the Dynamics, we can drag them into parallel, so you get parallel compression. Um, one thing that I really like about uh, two-stage Dynamics is that uh, for my kick, especially on this track. Um, I can uh, put this multi-band gate, and uh, so I can get kind of some isolation, but uh, without EQing that, if I EQ that out, I couldn't keep that transient of the kick. Um, so I can yeah. kind of get some isolation away from the other mics that way, and then I can uh, you know compress that afterwards. Um, also new in our uh, dynamics module is kind of this new layout. You can see we have some new meters that shows the gain reduction and the level at the same time in the same meter. Yeah. Um, and uh, our attack and release. We also have this new vintage mode that's a lot more like uh, the um, frequency dependent release characteristics of uh, NLA-2A or 1176. Right. So, and this makes it a little bit more of a versatile tool instead of like the clean kind of peak uh, limiter or compressor. You can change, put it into vintage mode, get those release characteristics. You know, maybe I want to make a really aggressive attack and release that would be more like those compressors. Change it to an RMS, a uh, soft knee. So we have this now this really flexible dynamics processor um, that has a lot of different ways it can operate. Rather than just being a hardware emulator, um, we have a lot of options to kind of change the character of the sure. dynamics. Um, also, um, more of a vocal task. Let me find my vocal here really quick. Yeah, very straightforward. So I can solo my uh, sibling's band wow. and kind of drag it around. And again, that's middle mouse wheel to change the bandwidth. It's time for you to leave. And then pull it down so you can get a little bit of that. that harshness of the S is So, uh, really straightforward, simple tool, but, you know, vital in a lot of things. Definitely one of the easiest um, to use desserts yeah. I've ever seen. So, yep, and, uh, you know, it's not the sexiest thing, but it's also kind of a vital tool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I, I, kind of the last part of the chain the typically CD. is the limiter, so you can get a little uh, uh, pivoting back, and it's, again, very simple. We also have some what you waiting for? Um, that are more kind of a, it's kind of like an old broadcast technique of you'll get an asymmetrical waveform and you can rotate its phase slightly to even it out and that will let you get better loudness out of it when you're limiting it. Yeah. So um, um, a lot of cool, you know, if you need to invert all of this stuff that's in ozone too, by the way. Right. Um, you get this kind of more right here. In Ozone, it's kind of tucked away because it's more of a diagnostic tool, but it's there in the limiter panel in uh, Alloy, too. So, again, really brief overview. You're tracking something. You have you know, all of your um, categories of presets here. Pick something you like, tool it up a little bit, go a little bit more in depth. And that's what Alloy is all about, that's is awesome. that flexibility. That's yeah. Man, that looks, that looks killer. Cool. So do you guys have any uh, other questions? Well, one uh, question I had was, um, you know, what kind of process do you guys go through to, to build your presets? I mean, obviously pretty uh, We have a lot of preset designers, uh, pro engineers. Um, I think uh, a lot of people we've talked to in the past who've given interviews, uh, um, uh, Houston Haynes and Morgan Page and uh, oh, Justin sure. Lassen. Right. Uh, kind of our old mix partners uh, went through and tailored uh, a lot of our uh, plugin or our presets. So they've been working with the plugin in, in like a beta capacity and uh, running it on their mix sessions, and then they generated all of those presets for us. Oh, wow. So we did some in house, um, but those are you know some good pro guys that that know, know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. our actual recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. recording, mixing, tracking.